All right, welcome back, everybody. This is Game Dev Tycoon. I am your host, Shenra, and this is Paid Early Access Company. It's been about, I think, a week since we've played this, so bear with me. I need to get my bearings again. Uh, I did review the last episode, so I know that we just released a game, number one in the world. Good times. But let me pause as soon as we get in so we can look around a little bit, see what our people are doing. Pause. Oh, okay, pause. There you go. Just click the screen to pause. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, look at that. Look at the sales on this guy. We sold 1.3 million units already. And this was a self-published medium game. Uh, we should probably do a few more publishing contracts just because it's it's good money. And uh, it's a good way to get a lot of fans. Mm, and we don't have to spend anything on hyping it if it's going to be a published game. What's up with our staff? We got Baguette. She has done nothing for design or tech. She has not researched anything at all. Or not researched. She has not trained any skills at all. Dennis Habavis. He's absolute garbage. Arndt Johnson is garbage. Hector Neal is garbage. And Charles Anderson is garbage. We have some absolute shit in here. But somehow, this crackpot team of five... Well, no, no, no. Baguette's okay. This crackpot team of one programmer and four idiots has somehow managed to put out the two number one games in the world in a row. That's pretty amazing. I gotta, I gotta hand it to them. I did not expect them to be able to do that. We got 9.75 and then a 9.5 right after that. That's, that's, I don't know what to say about that. That's amazing. Noggle Brains, 9.75 zombie action game. Let me pull up my, um, my helper charts here. Bum, bum, bum. There we go. So we can see what we're doing. There. Okay, so we did a zombie action. What was before that? A pretty good Wild West RPG on the game line. Wow. And then we did a, a we did the eponymous game, and it didn't do so hot. What about uh, Doctor Yap's Fun Time Land? Whoa! Look at that. A school RPG game. Wow. And Suarez. First Thirst Vampire Action Game did pretty well. Um, pay to Win, Quest for Content, eh, didn't do that great. Suburbia did all right, 8.75. We should probably do some sequels on some of these. And we did unlock sequels, so we should sequel some of this stuff. Uh, why don't we start with maybe Young Gunslingers, Wild West RPG. Uh, let's take a look at what is good for Wild West. Wild West is young or mature. And it's mainly RPGs. So we could do a Wild West RPG on uh, whatever's out there, the play system. But it's main, the play system good for everybody. And Wild West is mainly good for young or mature. But you know what? We can do it for everybody. It should work out just fine. So let's do a sequel for this play system RPG uh, Wild West RPG. Let's do it. Sequel that shit, baby. Yeah. Uh, for everyone. On the play system. The Baguette Cube 3. Now we need a name for uh, Young Gunslingers 2. We'll call it uh, uh, Young Guns 2. Need a name here. For Wild West RPG on the play system. The good, the bad, and the Shen. What's your implication there? <laughs> Middle-aged gunslingers. <laughs> Puberty strikes. YOLO gunners. Toddler slingers. <laughs> Toddler slingers. That sound. That has bad connotations there. Slightly older gunslingers. Pow, right in the kissa. Gun go bang. Gun 
Grandpa Gunslingers. Wow. Not the best names coming out today. What's with you? Is it, is it, is it because this is the first game today? Billy the Teenager. All right, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Billy the Teenager. Let's do this shit. 3DV3. Okie dokie. And Charles is back from vacation just in time. Now let's take a look at RPG. Minimum, maximum, max. Pretty much. Right about there. Now we're not going to be able to fit everything into the engine, so I guess we'll get rid of the save game. Yeah, there you go. We'll just have multiplayer. That works just fine. Can we squeeze in branching story? Yes, we can. So instead of linear, we now have a branching story. It's a little better, and all the gameplay will fit. Uh, who do we want doing this? Well, take a look at our little sheet here. It's tech and then design design. So who's good at tech? Charles. Yeah, he's okay at tech. All right, he can do that. And design design, uh, Hector's going to do that. And then Hector's done. For, this is Hector's only task on this whole project. So once Hector has done uh, this phase, we won't use him again. And that's fine. If he had boost, I would use boost right now. But he don't got no boost, do you, Hector? Oh, come on back, Charles. You're supposed to be working, Charles. You're back from vacation, you lazy son of a bitch. He was back from vacation seconds ago. Many seconds ago. All right. Next up is... So can I make this window larger so I can see it better? There we go. All right, RPG max, almost max, medium, like this. Now, we're not going to use Hector anymore. His task is done. Uh, let's throw Arndt in there. Actually, let's see. What is this? This is design. Who's got the highest design? Yeah, Arndt can do it. Uh, can we fit dialogue tree? You bet your ass we can fit dialogue tree. Excellent. So who else is going to do work here? Uh, all tech, all tech. So who's good on tech? Dennis. Uh, Dennis, not so much. Hmm. Dennis, not so good. But you know what? If he did it on the last game, then I trust him to do it on this game as well. He can't be that bad, can he? Nah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Do a little hype. A little more hype. I mean, it's not going to have that much height, but it's okay. All right, phase three is max, almost max, medium. Just like the last phase. Okay, and Baguette can do all these. That's fine. Stereo sound. And we can fit our rich backstory this time. So, yeah, we can fit everything. Uh, just make sure the sliders are okay. They look good. Baguette's got a lot of work to do here. But everybody has nobody has passed 100%, so we're going to get a nice uh, working together bonus. A little more marketing. Do we want to do a magazine demo? Sure, fuck it. Why not? Why not? So we spent 250k marketing this thing. Wow! 22.5 million dollars on Hack the Planet. Holy crap. Amazing. Hack the Planet OP. Please nerf. Anyway, 64 hype. Not the best. Not the most. Not the worst. We'll deal with it. It's fine. All right, what do we got? We got a new record on design, which is fine. Uh, we are level two on our 3D graphics version three. So one more level and we can get 3D V4. Uh, advanced cutscenes and AI companions. All right, we'll do some research. Advanced cutscenes and do some research. AI companions. There you go. In the meantime, let's do some contract work. Yeah. A logo animation. You can do that. I trust in you people. What do you mean, you people? Billy the Teenager. Holy shit. Look at this. Wow. Not bad, folks. Ah, oh, all games. You're killing me, man. He has nothing to say about the game. All he says is, RPG games work well on the play system. You fucker all games. Can someone just, you know, I don't know. 
Go punch this guy in the balls? Fuck. Damn, still, I mean, wow. We got some good scores there. Cannot go wrong with that. Yeah, fuck all games. <laughs> uh, we can do large games now. I don't think we have enough research points for that. Paid Early Access Co. has recently released a sequel to their game, Young Gunslingers. The newest game in their series, titled Young Guns 2, Billy the Teenager, was met with outstanding responses. Critics praised that Young Guns 2, Billy the Teenager, had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. We didn't quite make number one game in the world, but we are number two game in the world. And uh, J-Dog, yes, you can get a perfect 10. I've, I've done it before. We've done it before, man! We did it like two weeks ago. All right, 500K sales, not so bad. And look at this, week two sold better than week one. Look at that, neat. And the hot genre is adventure right now. Uh, why don't you do the game report, dude? Yes, and you can, no, you can do it. Research large games, oh, it's 40 points. We ain't got 40 points. Uh, a little more contract work, there you go. We'll have 40 points as soon as he's done with the report, I think. Oh man, the sales on Young Guns, so good. There are a lot of good surprises waiting for you in Young Guns 2, Billy the Teenager. The attention to detail to the core gameplay has really paid off. Summary, best game ever. Wow. Neat. Well, there's our 40 points. Make a, sequel to, make a sequel to Dick Cheney Extreme Hunting. The problem was, no one bought the first one. Why would you make a sequel for it? We passed a million in sales. Not bad. All right, report, yeah, yeah, yeah. Research, large games, go for it. A little more contract work. I just like doing the contract work because you get some research out of it, why not? Um, is it time for a medium booth? You know, we have 157,000 fans and we're making millions of dollars. Let's do a medium booth. I don't think we need it, but whatever. Go on vacation. More contract work, please. We'll fail it, but I don't care. I just want to get the research points out of it. I'm trying to get everyone onto vacation before we do another game. Oh, we completed it. What? <laughs> it says zero design and zero technology, meaning we finished it, and yet it says contract failed. I've seen that before. It doesn't make any sense, though. Anyway, go ahead and finish that. Okay, no one wants adventure games anymore. That's okay. Two hundred thousand fans, not that bad. Boss, our office could really do with some renovation. Yes, of course. This is when you get the new computers. There you go. Now we actually have flat screens. Look at that. Nice. And we have post it we have post-it notes. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We just did a sequel for Young Gunslingers. Uh, probably not gonna do that one. Oh, we could do that. Dr. Yap's fun. No, we just did an RPG. We'll do another RPG later. Uh, you gotta remember you gotta remind me to do this though. Dr. Yap's Fun Time Land. That did so well. Holy shit. Uh, Suarez did pretty well. Uh, Suburbia did really well. Life Simulation, 8.75. Anything outstanding back here? 8.25 for Viva La Fashion, Fashion Casual. That's not bad. Another RPG. Dick Cheney did not do very well. Uh, Being Charlie Sheen did amazingly well. We might want to do like uh, uh, an HD remastered version of Being Charlie Sheen. The Fast and the Fabulous did really well. Big Black Holes did really well. Space action game. Flying Buckets did okay. Booze Brothers not so hot. And yeah. So anything that's below an eighth is just... Eh, doesn't really catch me. Big Black Holes might be worth redoing. Although that was from year two. That was nine years ago. Still doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. It just means it's, uh, it's out there, man. There's a whole lot of those. You want to do the Charlie Sheen one? Well, I mean, they're all equal. They're, adventure is no longer um, adventure no longer is more popular than anything else. 
Anyway, then we're gonna kill this this contract. Very easy contract. Good times. Okay, so let's see if we can find a nice publishing deal. Uh, a large game, any topic, any genre. I think I'm gonna stay away from large games. Large, large, medium, medium. Hmm, any topic, adventure. But adventure is not popular anymore. Is adventure even good on the play, on the game lane? I didn't think I didn't think so. Game lane. Yeah, adventure is terrible on the game lane. Why would you? I don't know. Uh, business strategy game on the TES 64. Are you kidding me? Strategy is awful on the TES 64. These <laughs> these publishing contracts are terrible. I'm not going to do a large game. It's too early for a large game. We we would overwork our people. They would be uh, uh, too stressed. They would need to go on vacation. Blah 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 blah. Oh, we can do G3 training now. Thanks, we've updated our computers. We're not going to do that, though. Let's just do a straight-up uh, sequel. Let's do something that scored pretty well that was not an RPG. Uh, a life simulation. There we go. Suburbia. Life simulation. Life simulation is good for young kids and everybody. And what's good for simulation? What system... Super TES is good for simulation. The PC is good for simulation. Uh, Super TES might be a better match because it's good for the young audiences, whereas the PC is only good for mature audiences, really. Hmm. Play system can do simulation, and it's good for everybody. Maybe we'll do it on the play system. Alright, sequel, Suburbia. There it is. And we're going to do a medium game for everybody on play system. Well, yeah, sure. Why not? The difference between the play system and the PC is 1% market share, so the play system will reach more audience. Uh, the play system is really good for everybody. And uh, the PC is not quite as good on the everybody category. But the PC is stronger on the simulation category. So you, you got to take your... You, you, one of them is not perfect. The other one's not perfect. It's got to go with it. Anyway, Suburbia 2. A cat eat dog world, avoiding the po po, the hot neighbor, <laughs> extreme life, family's creed, daddy's daddy's drunk again. <laughs> oh god, no contraception. Oh goodness, the milf next door. Oh, I like that. I like that. All right, Suburbia 2. Let's do this. Medium, everybody, life simulation, play system, baguette cube 3. We're doing it. All right, come on, people. No no head scratching. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it, aren't. <laughs> that fucker. Scratching his head. All right, it's a simulation game. Let's find simulation. Uh... Two, three, yeah, two, three, and then neutral. Two is like right about there, three's up there, and then neutral. And can we squeeze in? Oh, we already, oh, we can't squeeze in the branching story. So we're gonna have to do a linear story. That's fine. There you go, no penalties. The difference is 84% of the uh, story and quest would get completed if we try to do a branching story, but if we do a linear story, everything gets completed. There's no penalty whatsoever. Uh, we could bring the slider way up to here, but I think that's just too demanding, considering it says not to focus on it that much. So let's go for a linear story and just let that ride like that. Everything else fits in just fine. That's what she said. And who's going to be doing these? That's the question. Technology is important for the first category, and then two in design. Yeah, technology and then design, design. I think that's fine the way it is. Let's do it. Stop scratching your head, aren't... Oh! The Dream Vast. All right. Cool. 
Um, we, might, we might make some gains for that. The problem with the Dream Vast is it, it really is just a splash in the water. It, it comes in like a... We made 17.2 million off Young Guns 2. Not bad. It, come, it comes in really quickly, and it's good with, with a lot of games. Oh, old engine. Of course. Yes, yes, yes. Give it away. It's the Baguette Cube 2. The problem with this is this is... This is the last engine we just made. We just stopped using this engine. And now we're being forced to either give it away or sell it. Or nothing. Uh, we're going to give it away because it'll give us some fans. Alright. Simulation. Minimum. Almost max. And then max. Alright, well we can't fit all the dialogue in. So, can we fit the dialogue tree? No. Alright, we're just going to do better dialogues. Don't worry about the dialogue tree. Uh, everything else is fine. And who's going to do this work? Uh, it's going to be all design and then tech tech. All design. Aren't Johnson for design? No, I think we'll do Hector in here. Because he's a little better than Aren't Johnson. Well, yeah. It's valued at 90% design and 10% tech. So 90 design is a little more important than the 10 tech. Yeah. And tech tech is 60 and 80. Dennis and Charles. Um, that's probably fine, really. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, okay, onward. Get some advertising going. Yes, we gained 6, 6.6 thousand fans and it cost us $3,000, whatever. We have tons of money. Why do I care about $3,000? More marketing! More marketing! And the last phase for a simulation game is medium, max, and then almost max. Medium, max, and almost max. Now, how much can we squeeze in here? We can squeeze in everything, but we're going to miss out on a little bit of world design. The graphics are good. The, the audio is good with stereo sound, but the world design, we're going to have to leave out. What should we leave out? Should we leave out the backstory, the day and night, or the open world? I think I would probably leave out the backstory, because... It's a sequel. They've, they've played the first one, right? It wasn't that long ago. Yeah, I'll leave out the backstory. So we'll go with the open world and the day and night cycle. Let's go. More marketing! I said more mar Should I go for a small campaign? Fuck it. Small campaign that shit. Yeah. Like twice as much hype as the last game. Watch it get terrible scores. <laughs> Why not? There you go. All right, we got a new record for technology. Oh, look at that! We were oh, we were like pixels away. We were literally pixels away from leveling up our 3D V3. Damn. Oh well, it's okay. Oh, we get a raise for Dennis, Hector, and Charles. That's fine. Special training for Dennis. And we can now research video playback. Well, you can research video playback, and I think everyone else is going to do some goddamn contract work. Lazy people. Here comes his ratings. What do we get? The MILF next door. Sevens. Oh, uh-oh. Six. Uh-oh. Yeah, see? All that hype, and it's a crappy game. All that hype, and it's a crap... I mean, it's not a crappy game. Yeah, could have been better. All games, fuck you with a rake, you son of a bitch. <laughs> it could have been better. I like the first one better. It was a just better game. Uh, it's not selling very well. Alright, go on vacation, you little numpty. You can do the game report. You can go on vacation. Damn it. What a terrible score. And it's still selling. Amazingly enough, even with a score that bad, it's still selling pretty well. I mean, it's not selling that well. What am I talking about? <laughs> We're barely going to make our money back on that thing. Adventure games are popular again. All right, well, what can we sequel that has uh, adventure in it? 
RPG, strategy, action, RPG, simulation, RPG, action, RPG, simulation, casual, adventure, fist, oh, first, uh, fist fantasy, first fantasy, okay, an adventure game, uh, didn't score that well, that doesn't mean we can't sequel it, action, adventure, life adventure, being Charlie Sheen, but we just did a life game, so we can do this one later. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Being Charlie Sheen. Why not? But it doesn't have to be a life game. It can be something else. Uh, what's another good adventure thing? Can do... Do we have mystery? Well, we're definitely going to sequel Being Charlie Sheen. What the hell should we call the sequel? <laughs> Fist fantasy. Go for it. No. <laughs> You're bad people and you should feel bad. Alright, sequel time. Charlie Sheen. Bingo. On the play system. No, what what system is good for adventure? Play system, play system, play system is not so good on adventure. PC is good on adventure. Alright, PC adventure. Uh, Baguette Cube 3. It's going to be a mature game, probably. We we'll call it uh, BCS. The Sheen Cool? <laughs> Two and a half inches? <laughs> uh, goodness. The By Winning? The Coke Years? Let me find a good uh, category. We're probably not going to do a life game because we just did a life game. We should do something else. Something that's good for adventure and mature. Uh, something that we actually have purchased already. Comedy. Do we have comedy? We do. We can do a comedy adventure game. Perfect. No one's going to buy this. That's perfect. <laughs> Coke and Hose. Hashtagging. Two and a half ounces. Charlie Sheen and the 20 gram rocks. <laughs> that interview is so famous. <laughs> Uh, okay, we'll do that. Uh, the the curse of the twenty gram rocks. Okay, medium game for mature audiences. Comedy adventure. Yep, looks good. Adventure on PC for mature audiences. We got it. Let's go. Still winning. <laughs> I'm a fucking wizard. <laughs> two, and a, two and a half hookers. <laughs> oh, we got some comedians in the crowd, don't we? Don't we? All right. Uh, adventure is negative, medium, positive, negative, medium, positive. Can we do the branching story? You bet your ass we can. Do we need a save game? No, we don't. And the gameplay, we can't quite fit everything. Yeah, we're going to have to skip one of these. Get rid of the... Get rid of the tutorials. We'll, we'll let people flounder. Fuck tutorials, man. All right. So who's going to do this work? It is tech and then design design. So tech is going to be Charles and design design Hector Hector. That's fine. Yeah, only 230,000 copies sold. Suburbia, yeah. We didn't make much money on that game. Can we, can we check the uh, history on it? We made $580,000 profit. We spent $2 million making the game and marketing it. Not much money. Uh, want some interview about this game? Sure. Okay, comedy adventure game. What do we care about? AI or graphics? Mostly graphics. Yeah, mostly graphics. AI in an adventure game? Are you crazy? All right, yeah, yeah, you, you agree with me, I know, I know. All right, next phase is maximum, medium, minimum, maximum, 
medium, minimum. Uh, we're not going to be able to fit the amazing AI, but we'll fit as much as we can. If we get, if we just get 100% there. Oh, just, ah, ah, just barely squeeze in that 100% so we don't get the penalty. There we go. Um, who's going to do this work though? Hector can't do all this. Uh, oh, for dialogues. Yeah, Dennis can do that. Not a problem. Uh, this is dialogue? Wait, why is he doing that? Arndt can do it. There you go. Design. Yeah, Arndt can do that. And then Tech Tech for Dennis and Charles. That's probably fine, really. It's probably fine. Uh, dialogue tree will fit, so let's do that. Throw it in and go. I'm going to start off with a small campaign. See if we can't get that hype rolling. And hopefully we get this game out before the adventure becomes unpopular as a genre. A little more marketing, please. Didn't I say more marketing, please? Okay. And the Dream Vast is released. That's great. Baguette can do the last phase here. How much of this crap can we fit? Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's see. Adventure is maximum, almost max, and then medium. Like so. And we can fit stereo sound, no problem. Can we also fit the backstory? You bet your ass. So everything fits. That's great. Uh, do the work. A little more marketing, please. I'm hesitant to just market the shit out of this thing, because the last time the marketing was... Uh, shouldn't have been there. Well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we still sold some games, so it's not like the marketing was useless. I felt like the game itself wasn't that great. Alright, that'll do for the bugs. Medium booth again, please. Oh, we set records for design and tech. Nice. And we leveled up our 3 v 3 so we can now get 3 v 4 make a new engine. Nice do it. 3D V4. Very good. And uh, do some more contract work. Let's see what the score comes in as. And I hope it gets released before uh, Adventure goes away. Here comes the review. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Everyone loves it! Yes! Oh, perfect 10, perfect 10! No! All games! You motherfucker! Someone's gonna find this guy and, like, run over him with his tractor or something. Shit! What the fuck? Oh my god. Ah, oh, games. <laughs> All games strikes again. Oh, it's the number one game in the world! Oh, that's fantastic. You know what, though? That's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time for further adventures in the lens of Paid Early Access Co. here in Game Dev Tycoon. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.